Hello guys, today we have the second video of a mini series of three videos of free videos of my new online course Eloquent the Expert Level. So today we're taking a look at the video of first or create and other so-called two-in-one methods. I call them two-in-one methods. It's basically do something or something. There are quite a few of them in Laravel and you will see them in the upcoming video. If you want the full course, subscribe to laraveldaily.com membership monthly or yearly. It will give you access to all of the courses and premium tutorials. Now let's get to today's video and tomorrow there will be the part three, another free video from this course. Laravel Eloquent has quite a few, I call them two-in-one features. So do something or do something. And I will demonstrate a few of them now. So what if you want to get the first record by some condition and if it doesn't exist, you create that record. So this is a typical code. You do where and do first. If it doesn't return anything, then you create the record. Probably this should be the correct syntax. So Laravel allows you to do that in one sentence without the if with first or create. There are two parameters here. So first by which condition you may specify more fields and then create with what fields if it doesn't exist and those fields would include that one as well. So the result is absolutely the same. And if we delete that one, have a few more examples commented out, we'll get to them in a minute. And if we try to launch that homepage, we see one as a result. The database was empty, so there's user with ID one. But if we refresh that, I just refreshed, as you can see, it's still one. So on the second time when it's launched, it returns first and doesn't create another record. Similarly, you can create a record without saving that into the database. Maybe you want to do some more magic or more operations with that you can have first or new. So the result is user object in the variable in the Laravel code, but it's not saved into the database yet. So if we launch that with a different email, we refresh and there's nothing here. So there is no user ID because user ID is what gets auto incremented automatically when the record is saved into the database. So this is a proof that it's not saved in the database, but as a proof that it has name value, we refresh and it does have the name value of admin. The next example is what if you want to update the record or if it doesn't exist, create one. So for that, you have a function update or create. Pretty similar. So you update the user by that email with the values of these fields. In my case, it's just the name. So now let's try to remigrate the database. So if we launch that now, we refresh and we have ID one admin updated, which means it found this record, which was created earlier and updated the name. But for example, if we have admin three here and refresh, we have an error that we also, of course, we need to provide the password. So yeah, let's do exactly that copy paste password and we refresh and now we have ID two new user with admin updated. And the final kind of two in one method I want to show you is absurd. It is available from Laravel 8.10 and it works like this. If you have, for example, some Excel sheet with the updated data for the user and you don't want to do for each loop and update them automatically one by one, you want to have one sentence. So imagine that these two lines come from Excel sheet and those should be the new values for the users. Now, how do we identify the users? We identify them by email and we update those fields. So these are the parameters for the absurd. For every line, it is searching for this email and updates the record with these values. Let's try it out. If we refresh, we have admin admin com with admin one which is this one updated and then admin to admin com with updated admin two. So it successfully updated two records. So these are helpful eloquent models to help you avoid two or more sentences. Instead, do something in more compact way. 